Hello, and welcome to this week's Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use MediaDS to stream internally on your own corporate network. So normally when you decide you want to stream, you have to go out and pick a content delivery network, such as Ustream, YouTube, Twitch, um, any number of social media streaming sites. And it, when you're producing a stream that you want people on your own network to watch, that means when you use a CDN, that when they decide to view the stream, they're pulling down an individual copy for every unique device that they're watching the stream on, which is going to quickly overwhelm your internet connection because you're pulling down individual streams for every user. With New Tech Media DS and the power of the Wowza streaming engine built in on every Media DS, you can keep your entire productions local to your own corporate network and not run into those same bandwidth limitations. Not only that, the signal never leaves your facility, so as far as security concerns go, if your own network is buttoned down, you really don't have to worry about it uh, being available on the public internet. Let me show you how to set up internal streaming. First, we're going to choose the channel that we want to stream to our internal network on, and then we're going to go choose the Wowza streaming engine option. Once we choose that, we can configure what quality level we want to stream or if we want to load in a new custom profile. And then you can simply hit the stream button and this will start the stream available on your corporate network. Now, typically, if you use a CDN, they provide an embed code for you to be able to host the player uh, within a web page. MediaDS offers that as well. Uh, you can simply click the gear up here and choose Edit Media DS Web Pages. You'll see all four channels of your Media DS here. And I happen to be streaming the squash tournament on channel three. So I can go over here, uh, change the page name, change the title, add a description of the content I'm streaming, as well as get the page URL, embed code, and uh, also copy the URL to your clipboard. Now what's really powerful about this is this is a unique function of MediaDS is there's never been an appliance or service really out there that you could simply do your video encoding on as well as host the web page and host the actual video player. All of that can be done on your MediaDS. So we can simply type in this address over here on our laptop, or this also works on mobile devices. It fully supports both Android and iOS, so you don't have to worry about that. As soon as we activate this stream, that's all we have to do. By using the internal Wowza streaming engine on your Media DS, you're going to have a safe, secure live video stream, and you're not going to overwhelm your internet connection. One feature that's built right into your Media DS is a live DVR service built in on the stream. So if your viewers show up late to the broadcast, they can start at the beginning and catch up with everyone else automatically. So each Media DS can deliver about 501 megabit streams on your internal LAN. The magic of NewTek NDI allows you to stack multiple Media DSs together and deliver more capacity if needed or you can use the external streaming features to deliver to CDNs that can deliver your stream globally. Thanks for watching today's Tuesday tutorial. If you have any ideas for topics you would like to see covered, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks, and we'll see you again next week.